Since the dawn of time, man has wondered, do miracles exist? Are they real? Are they possible? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I curse this deafness. Well, it's open. It's open. It's open. It's right. It's open. Phil, do you have faith? Yes, I do. Put your hand on your back. Lord, he heal him. Let's give the Lord a praise, will you? Miracles are real. Miracles are possible. Miracles are for today. And in the name of Jesus, be opened. Jesus. You hear that? I command right now, God, this broken shoulder, this collarbone, God, these bones right now. I command all of this pain and this limitation come out. Loose them right now. Oh, God, I loose a miracle. Hey, welcome to Miracles with Peter Dosick. And of course, I'm Pastor Peter Dosick, and this is one of my co laborers, and uh, his name is Philip Walker, pastor of a great church in Kenton, Ohio. And Philip, you've been with us, gosh, all over. Yes, and, all over uh, the world. Yes, <laughs> and you have seen uh, lots of miracles. You've preached yes. to tens of thousands and thousands of people. Amen. Amen. And uh, God has used you and is using you. Amen. And uh, which tells you that, you know, we're coming to the end times <laughs> and God's using everybody. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. If he <laughs> could use me, he and, can and use me. me. <laughs> and uh, God is doing great things. And uh, so, but we today are here to just inform you and to stir Amen. your faith for you to stay connected with us for this next half an hour. This program is designed to help your faith, for you to be encouraged, for you to believe the impossible. And know this, that all things are possible to him that believes. Believes what? Believes in God. Believes in his love for you. Believes in his power towards you. Believes that he is aware of you. God believes in you and he cares for you. And so we are here and we're going into a miracle segment so their faith can be yes. built, Philip. And then we're at the end of the program, we, you and I, are going to be praying for their families, for Amen. their household, for all type, types of stuff. And uh, God is going to be doing good things. Yes. But uh, miracles, Philip, that you see around the world, mm -hmm. you see it. Now, we don't do it like everybody. Everybody has their way of doing Amen. it. Some people pray the prayer of salvation and people get saved yes. first. We pray for miracles. Amen. And uh, sinners yes. get miracles, Absolutely. and people that, yeah. you know, uh, mm -hmm. have been serving witches, yep. they get miracles. Yes. And uh, they know that, you know what, the witches have not been their answer, but Jesus is now their answer. Amen. Praise God. And, uh, man, it just explodes. Yes. And uh, so people start getting miracles, and then we give the altar call. Yes. Amen. And they Hundreds come. And thousands and thousands of people rush to the altar because they have seen God yeah. touching lives. I remember when you had a drunk man yeah. that came up on the platform, but God healed him. Yes. And then he went right down there, sobered up, and gave his life. And gave them. his life to Jesus right in the life. Yes, I remember that. I and uh, so, you know, God is touching people, yes, Philip. And uh, what we're seeing here is that we simply are obedient to the Father, Amen. and God is doing all of these things. And uh, we we just, I think that, uh, you know, the nights that we were there, we just, you know, we had testimonies on both yes. sides and and uh, in like all the services, Amen. all the evening services. Hundreds and we just, yo, man. Yeah. And uh, the last night we had like 70,000 people outside and, and uh, people just getting saved. Yeah. And we didn't even get to see their faces, no. but they got saved. Their lives had been changed mm -hmm. and God had touched them and, and healed many of them. Amen. And uh, there were so many outside of the church that they pressed against the door and the glass Gosh. broke out of the door. <laughs> and uh, so they, they want to touch from God. Now, you don't have to do that to your television set today, Hallelujah. but we are going to be praying for you and miracles are going to be happening. You know, God loves you no matter where you're watching this at, no matter what condition you're in, Jesus loves you. And he wants to show himself real. He wants to show himself strong. He wants to show himself willing and active on your behalf. Praise so stay tuned with us. Just stay with us this half an hour. It's going to change your life. And so at the end of this program, we're going to be praying for the sick. 
So don't go any place because alcoholism, drug addiction is going to be broken and God's going to make you whole. What do we have there, Kim? Tony, now we do the Pastor Nosek. What's your name? Three years ago, this, this young man received a terrific blow to his head. Someone hit him with a hammer. He's been in constant pain. It's a miracle he's still alive. But when you pray the prayer of faith, this excruciating pain has left his hand. Pastor, Pastor Nosek, this woman came tonight. She's been suffering with a regular heartbeat for over a year. On oh, her shoulders in prayer. But tonight, after prayer, her heart's back in normal, and she's healed. Hallelujah. Shortness of breath and heart problems, uh, heart pain. And now the pain's gone. She can breathe, and God's touched her. Oh, come on, you gone to hallelujah. Pastor Dose, this, this woman was born with severe hearing deficiencies. She was barely able to hear throughout her life. She was healed last night. Hallelujah. But she came back today because her hearing is so improved. Come on, shout hallelujah. 37 years in God. Yes, Harry. Pastor Joseph, this young girl came tonight. She fell down three weeks ago, broke blood vessels dry, couldn't see very well, was in excruciating pain. Tonight, her eye cleared up instantly after prayer. The pain is gone. The mother came back and did not pray. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, immediately, the eye cleared up and her vision returned. Thank you for coming. Praise God. Hallelujah. What do you have there, Michael? Pastor, this lady was has been suffering with excruciating back pain through up and down her body and for five years. Could not hardly even stretch out, lift her arms, or move. Tonight she's been set free. Tonight. Come on, child, hallelujah. Whoa, whoa, to God. Oh, what would you she be healed, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Joseph, this woman came tonight to testify. She had a tumor in her stomach. Oh, 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, Harry. Thank you. We got a woman here tonight. For four years, she's been suffering with a curse. She went to the false prophet. He put a curse on her to the point where she could hardly walk. Pain her legs every day. Tonight, the pain is gone. The curse is broken. One of the Come on, shout, hallelujah. Pastor, this woman, as you pray tonight for blessing on people, financially too. She works in the nation of Jordan. She's been coming every night to these meetings. Last night, I'll say it this way, she got the official notice today that she has finally received her visa. She is blessed financially. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hey, I hope that you enjoyed those miracles because they are life-changing things. Amen. You know, sometimes, Philip, I think that people say, oh, well, he just had pain going. Mm. But the guy that was hit in the head there oh, in Uganda goodness. had yes. this big concave hole in his skull. Yes. Well, you know, he, he was not fully recovered right. yet of everything that took place, right. but the pain mm -hmm. went away. Yes. And uh, he, he celebrated that was a great miracle. Absolutely. And, you know, people with back pain, mm -hmm. and, you know, they, they say 18, 20 years. Well, I used to have back pain, mm -hmm. so I, I know that God is a healer of it, yep. but I also know the tormenting of it. Amen. And just a vexing. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes when we don't see, well, well, you know, they didn't have their leg grow. Yeah. Well, but the pain left. That's Re it. Remember that's the enough. young man that began to cry because he had been so injured he could not work. And yes. he was just so excited because getting his back healed and getting all that pain out of him restored him to where he was going to be able to be a husband to yes. his wife, a father to his children, and there is provision. Yeah, absolutely. So... You know, we may not always see what we call dramatic miracles, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you, each one of these is a miracle that transforms a life. Uh, Philip, you know, because you're a giver and you're a sower yeah. and you help mm -hmm. support all these and all these crusades that happen could not happen without you yeah. and uh, the other people that sow yes. into this. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the time that we just encourage people to become partners to help us to go one with another. And you've seen how it works. You know, in the day, you know, we're preaching to pastors and at night somebody else is preaching and then they'll be down in the uh, marketplace. Yes. And, and yes. I mean, we're doing yeah. the kingdom work. Yeah, we, it's not like we're just relaxing. We are physically hours upon hours every day. Uh, we're preaching in yes. the morning. We're preaching in the afternoon, setting time to pray and believe God for these people. And, you know, uh, I think it's a great honor. One of the things the Lord asks us to do is that he wants us to have to give to every good work. Amen. So those yes. of us watching today, this is a great opportunity to partner with God and to go into places, even though you might not physically be going by supporting uh, Pastor Peter Dosick Ministries, you are literally touching lives around the world. Yes. And when you get to heaven, God is going to reward you for sowing and supporting the salvation that must go around the world. Yeah. You know, that gospel must be preached yeah. to others so that we can all go towards heaven. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, when, when it comes into Peter Dosick Ministries, there are no salaries that come out of that. Yeah. That is all taken care of and watched over by other people that are on the staff or specifically set apart for crusade work Amen. and it's paid for by the church. Amen. So what you're sowing, nothing comes out of that. Uh, it goes directly towards missions to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. And it's so important. Uh, how shall they hear except somebody is sent? Mm -hmm. How are they going to receive faith to believe unless somebody is there? So that's why faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You hear with your ears, you hear with your eyes. So please go to peterdosick.com. That's peterdosick.com. 
Go there, go on to the site, click on becoming a partner. It's real easy, you can do it, it's not complicated, and you and I will be partners, and wherever I go, Amen. you're going to be with me. When I speak, your voice will be in there. And God's not unfaithful to forget your labor of love. He remembers what you're doing for the kingdom. But now, let's go into some more miracles. Pastor, you prayed over curses tonight. Yes, I tonight, did. this young man came for seven years. He's felt things swimming around in his stomach all over his body. Tonight, after prayer, that sensation is all gone. The curse is broken, and he's set free. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Seven years. Yeah. Hallelujah. What do you have, Eric? Where are you at, Eric? Pastor Eric. Wilson, this young man came tonight. He's been having back pain for four years to the point where he can hardly move. Tonight after prayer, he was jumping up and down, giving God praise, thanking him because he's whole. Hallelujah. All the pain's gone. All gone. Yep. This man horribly was offered as a sacrifice to the false prophet. His brother was told he'd be rich if he would give his brother to the devil. That happened in January of this year. Something entered this man and felt like a snake. He could not digest food. When you prayed in the name of Jesus, you took authority. That terrible thing came out. He's free. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. 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 What do you have? Pastor Joseph, the mother came tonight to share. The baby was born. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. What do you got, Eric? Pastor, she came to the Baptist here for three years. She's had migraine headaches every day. Tonight, the pain is gone. She is healed. Or three now, years. Now, we're talking about the tennis team. And the is shut up. Now, you're right over. Come on, boy. Yes, sir. What do you need to ask you? Hallelujah. At Peter Dosek Ministries, partnership is more than just a word. Because of our partners, we are touching lives, reaching out to children, and digging wells for communities. Because of our partners, we are blessing local pastors and bringing miracles to hurting people. Most important, because of our partners, we are winning thousands of souls to Jesus every year. Many of our partners give a dollar a day, which equals $30 a month. The amount is up to you. Whatever God asks you to do will be just right. Should you choose to partner with us, your monthly financial gift and your prayers will make a huge difference in the lives of families all over the globe. Join us as we express our passion for Jesus and our heart for the world. Well, I know that your faith is stirred. Mine was stirred when I heard them in Uganda. And, uh, you know, every time I see a miracle, mm -hmm. yeah, hallelujah, it's, hallelujah. I, I mean, it, it is a testimony of a living God. Yes. Of, I mean, he's not dead. He's not a, a, a figment of our ima imagination. He's not some man that has created a following. He's, uh, you know, not just a ideal. Uh, he's not just, uh, you know, a philosophy. Praise he God. is the son of the living God. Amen. Praise and God. he died to redeem us. And Amen. he died not just to redeem our spirits, but to redeem us soulishly Praise as God. well as physically. Amen. See, he came as a God that would redeem the triune man Amen. because, Praise Philip, we fell yes. in triunity and it affected every part of man's life. Mm. So God comes and he redeems us and he even forgives our sins. Hallelujah. And Amen. so uh, today, Philip, as they've watched these miracles, people are tuning in right now and uh, we're going to be praying and Pastor Philip is going to be praying for you today uh, and then I'm going to be praying. So if you have a need, just get... Uh, if it's in your children or whatever, if they're in the house, please get them around the television set. We're going to be stretching forth our hand towards them, and they're going to begin to experience the touch of God. And so Pastor Philip is going to pray, and then I'm going to pray with you also. Okay, Philip, go ahead and pray for the audience. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, I pray over every sickness, every disease, and every condition yeah that is hindering entire households, Father. Yes. Lord, sicknesses in fathers and mothers and children that paralyze whole families, God, mm. I curse those sicknesses and disease. God, I speak the healing power of Jesus. I command those people to be loosed and made whole in the name of yes. Jesus. Lord, right now I see a child, God, that uh, is struggling with sickness, God. I curse that sickness mm. at the root, even cancer. I command you to come out of that child and that they would be made whole. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Now, I speak to other blood diseases. These blood diseases have to do with uh, pain all over your body. Uh, the, these blood diseases have to do with arthritis. They have to do with other ailments. Uh, uh, some of it is cancer, some leukemia has to do with uh, some of you are not even producing enough mm. blood out of the marrow of your bone. Mm. Well, God never created you to lack anything. Amen. So I'm going to pray for all types of blood diseases. God, rheumatoid arthritis, God, fibromyalgia. God, I curse every cancer, every blood, every leukemia. God, that is alive in blood. I curse right now, God, this AIDS virus in the name of Jesus. You devil, you come out of them in the name of Jesus. And I loose, God, the working of miracles into the marrow of every bone that is under the sound of my voice that God, life will enter into the marrow of their bone, God, and bring it back into order in the name of Jesus Christ. And that, God, that blood will begin to give life 
to his possessor. For God, the word declares that there is life in the blood. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And that God, you are giving them life out of the marrow of their bone. Mm -hmm. I speak God to anxiety and stress right now. I speak God into stomach problems, mm -hmm. stomach issues, God. I command all of this tension and all of this groaning, God, on the inside of them, this struggle, I command it to loose them and set them free. Now, I pray right now, God, that you would touch stomach problems, touch God bowel problems in the name of Jesus. I loose miracles, God. I loose miracles in Jesus Christ's name, and I thank you you for it. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. There is a left ear, a left ear that is being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Come out of them and let that ear hear in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God is healing a deafness in an ear on a child. In Jesus' name, be thou made whole. Hallelujah. Now, I want to encourage you. Take your testimony, Amen. the things that has happened to you, and send them to us. And you can go to peterdosick.com, send it to there. It'll get to us, and we can use it to encourage you Amen. and encourage others off in the miracle and the faith that you receive. Amen. Also, don't forget to go to peterdosick.com, and uh, you're going to see things on there of how to become a partner. Choose to be a partner. God's going to bless you. Let's take Jesus to the world today. We'll see you next week. At Peter Dosek Ministries, partnership is more than just a word. Because of our partners, we are touching lives, reaching out to children, and digging wells for communities. Because of our partners, we are blessing local pastors and bringing miracles to hurting people. Most important, because of our partners, we are winning thousands of souls to Jesus every year. Many of our partners give a dollar a day, which equals $30 a month. The amount is up to you. Whatever God asks you to do will be just right. Should you choose to partner with us, your monthly financial gift and your prayers will make a huge difference in the lives of families all over the globe. Join us as we express our passion for Jesus and our heart for the world. Miracles are for today. And in the name of Jesus, be opened. Jesus. You hear that? I command right now, God, this broken shoulder, this collarbone, God, these bones right now. I command all of this pain and this limitation come out. Loose them right now. Oh God.